Hello everyone! There's one thing I haven't done enough on this channel. It's sharing information as I stumble upon it. Ways to improve your workflow or uh, tips, things I, I figure out on the go. Ways to automate tasks on the computer. And right now I'm starting to work a little bit more with the shell. And here's a problem for which I would have used Python in the past. I have to repeat a set of operations on folders and files. So to set up the video recordings for five video tutorials here, I need to take the video recordings, move them in a folder called video, and then duplicate a template Blender file. That's the program that we use for video editing here and name it after the folder. This gives us a clean setup to then import the video in each project and to then quickly edit them. In the past, I would have used Python for that because it's the language I was using most of the time. And now I discover that you can use the shell to do those kinds of things in way fewer lines, way faster. I'm going to be using fish here. It's very similar. If you use bash, there might be some minor differences. And if you use PowerShell on Windows, um, you might want to use to use bash or something else but on Mac it's like on Linux you will typically get the bash shell by default okay so here's the the final code that's going to do all the work so it's just a few lines of code with two for loops that takes most of them and people in the comments please tell me if there are ways to do things even faster but I just want to talk about the point. It's that you have commands on the Unix shell, on these kinds of, of shells, like MV to move files, or you have CP to copy files, you have find to find files, or LS to list the content of a di directory. And every time you use a, a command like that, it gives you, uh, for example, a list of folders and files in this case that can then pass in a for loop or to another command to combine these atomic commands together to create complex operations to automate tasks really quickly. Um, and yeah, it's very efficient, it's very fast, and you can express complex programs in few lines of code. So for example, with um, a loop I've prepared here, you it's going to find only the directories, the subdirectories in the current directory we are in, in the shell, which is this one, the remake of the Good at Calls chapter one that I'm working on right now. And it's going to only find the first line, only find the directories. So find with the star max f zero type is directory. It's only going to list the directories. And then for all the files in each of them, in each of these directories, we're going to echo them. So it's going to find all the MUF files here, all the videos, the video recordings, and all the subfolders. So if I were to search for just MUF, the extension of the video files, you can see them all the same way here. Now, um, you can use the four keywords to create a loop in fish and in the shell, and you give a name to the variable that is going to iterate over all elements of what's after the in keyword. So for each directory in, and I use the parentheses to collect the outputs of a command here. To only find all the directories in the current folder, I use the find command, find everything, that's what the star is going to do. It's going to expand to everything in the folder. We can see that, let me go back to Tilex here. If I just input uh, echo and a star, I'm going to get a list of everything in the folder, including this script. There's a file in the folder, which I don't want to apply my commands to. So that's why I'm using this find command. And note that you can create aliases or abbreviations anytime in fish you create an abbreviation like that. Uh, BBR, and I'm going to say, for example, 
um, list directory, something like that, LSD, and I'm going to copy this command, paste it here. I have to hold on, hold on, hold on, calm down. Um, I have to wrap it in quotes. So let's do that. Hopefully it works. Let's see. Abbreviation, I'm going to grab LSD. Yes, it seems to have worked. So now when I type LSD, I should get the full command here. So anytime with the shell, you can create aliases or in this case, abbreviations in fish, which I love because they expand and show you the real command. And you can reuse the commands. You know, If you have to type a slightly long command like this one, you can reuse it anytime. It's then registered. You can reuse it in any program. So we're going to find all the directories in the current directory. Find star is going to take all the elements in the current directory. It's going to stop at only the current directory because the find command normally goes through the entire tree of subdirectories and it's going to try to find everything it can in that. And then the type parameter followed by D means we only want to return directories. So this way I'm going to loop on, on only the subdirectories. For each of them, I'm going to use the make dear command to create a directory called video and uh, this directory under each of the directories. And then for each of them, I'm going to loop for each file in and I'm going to list the content of those directories um, and move each of the file it found to directory slash video slash file. And it's going to give a small error because it will also list the newly created video directory here but it's fine really because it, it does the job for now. If you have a solution to, to that, please tell me. Um, I'm a lazy person when it comes to automating tasks. As long as it works, even if it outputs a quick error, I don't mind if it's just for me. And finally, it's going to copy the template uh, video.blend file. I store my template files in the templates folder and it's going to duplicate it to directory slash directory dot blend. So it's going to uh, re it's going to copy it. So for example, what this means is it's going to take, for example, the first directory non playable character, and it's going to copy and paste the blend file here in this directory. And at the same time, when you use the CP command, you can rename it. So I'm renaming it to the name of the directory dot blend because I reuse the directory name so that when we open Blender and we check our projects, the file names make sense in Blender, which is not going to display the directory the project was created in. So that's why we use the folder name. And in general, we have the date um, for YouTube in particular, for each of the video projects, we have the date at which each of the video was recorded here. So back to this good course chapter one remake, I'm going to go back to Emacs, uh, copy that. Okay, it's taking the full thing. Yank all of that, copy all of that, paste it in the command line. It's going to output some errors, but it's not a problem as I was telling you. It's just trying to move the video folder in itself with the, the move command in the loop, but doesn't matter. It just worked for each of the folders. It created a new blend file. I can open any of them, press control I and import all of the footage with our Blender add-on power sequencer. It's going to import the footage really quickly. That's about it. If you have tips on that and more experience with the shell, please uh, share all that in the comments. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.